Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 23rd. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Aquarius, and we are just going to see what is going on for you. Um, pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure you had this old woman card in your last reading um, that I said to, uh, that you had with me, which was the middle of January 2023. Um so I'll, I'll try to um, remember to post the link for that video down below. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was you, though. It's like you had this old woman card here. And so you have this old woman card that says sadness, female. You also have this eye card that says envy and protection. So, um, you know, I feel like you are protected at this time. And you could be sad about letting something go. Again, four of pentacles. Uh, I love this four of pentacles. This is the after tarot. And you can see that death is behind the guy here on the four of pentacles. And it kind of represents... You know, the Four of Pentacles represents needing to release something that no longer serves you in the first place. He's holding on to something uh, too tightly, but what he's holding on to might be broken. <laughs> so, you know, it's like the longer that he holds on to that, the more he's hurting himself. It's like, imagine if you were holding on to a, a broken piece of glass, you know, and it was cutting you, but you were holding on to it so tightly because you didn't want to let it go. And that's what I'm seeing in my head, as gross as that sounds, Aquarius, is that, you know, really... I feel this is saying you're holding on to something that is sharp, that is broken, that needs to be let go of. I mean, literally, your reading is extremely simple. You go to the Two of Wands here, and Two of Wands says you need to leave a comfort zone. The Four of Pentacles also says you need to leave a comfort zone. You know, the good news is, is that it looks to me like you're getting answers right here, Sun, Hang Man. Uh, this would be gaining enlightenment. And I feel like you're about to have some sort of victory as well over kind of like how to move forward or how to have a new beginning. You end with the magician and the magician can definitely represent like a new beginning, but he's approaching a new beginning in a different way. And he's also reinventing himself. He is turning himself into something different or he's, you know, becoming, you know, or he's like becoming a different uh, person. Sorry, my shirt's all messed up here. But anyway, um, you know, he's becoming a different person. We'll talk about that in a minute. But by doing that, he is creating a victory in his life. Uh, I also do feel that there could be communication coming in for you this week. Um, I don't know. This looks like important news. I'm just looking around here. I would like, if you're getting news, I wouldn't rush to make a decision off the news or, you know, whatever. You might be getting some news about work or business. You end with the Knight of Swords. And Knight of Swords says, like, don't rush into a decision. You know, don't be too hasty. And um, I feel this is kind of like one of those things. It feels good. Um, you know, I think this is a good thing, but I also feel like this is saying like, play the game. I don't know. Those are the words that I'm getting. We're going to look into it. Let's see um, actually what comes up here. Like, I don't even know what this is talking about. With the Four of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords. It's like a victory coming in for you. And again, four, uh, the Ace of Swords can represent a sacrifice. There's normally a palm frond on one side and a olive branch on the other. The palm frond can represent a sacrifice in the tarot. It also represents like survivor energy. You know, the palm fronds, palm trees, they grow in the desert. They're able to survive no matter what. So again, kind of like another symbol of protection or being protected, you know, if you're making a change or going towards something new. With the six of wands, you have the high priestess, very intuitive week. So I would trust your intuition. Another card of a new beginning as well. Uh, high priestess is just a card of potential, as I always say. She has no roof over her head. And it kind of says that, there could be new opportunities or an opportunity for you to leave a comfort zone in some area of your life. But it's like you need to take advantage of that opportunity. You need to grab onto it so that you can be successful. It's only an opportunity, right? It's not, it's just something that has potential. And I feel like the magician is saying, okay, approach these new things, whatever is coming in for you, we're going to find out at the end here in a different way. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I mean, you always get the Seven of Cups with me. It is a card of kind of uh, being spoiled for choice, having a lot of options. Uh, I kind of feel like this is saying just go straight for something. If we go up here, you know, the sun can kind of represent, well, number one, it's the best card in the tarot. But number two, it can kind of just represent focusing on one thing. It kind of says like, don't overcomplicate things with the Seven of Cups. Sometimes I feel with the Seven of Cups, like we want to build a business, we want to start a relationship, we want to do whatever, but we come up with all these like extra steps and we overcomplicate things. I feel like this is saying like, just go straight to the thing that you want this week. Don't like overcomplicate things. I also feel this could be in a communication, like I said, feels like business or work communication. And 
you know, it could be like a little overcomplicated um, with that Knight of Swords, but I kind of feel like the Knight of Swords is saying, if you're getting an offer, like in work or business, for example, which is kind of what I feel here, again, it's not exactly clear to me yet. We're As we clarify, I'm sure we'll find out, but, um, you know, what I would say here is that it's like, you know, I feel like this is saying slow things down, like put all the pieces together, make sure to do your research because this looks like it could be something very good. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this card that says, challenge yourself to be stronger than your challenges, definitely. Uh, you have this unseen card, it says, though you don't see it now, there's something better. Uh, sometimes you need to wander to understand the clarity that follows. Yes, welcome to my life, Aquarius. <laughs> I've wandered for many, many years, and again, I have found this to definitely be true. It's like the more I wander, the more I explore. Uh, the more answers I get, the more successful I become. But again, society doesn't allow this. But, you know, what I would say is it's your time to shine. And, you know, especially with Pluto going into Aquarius, I think that if there was ever a time where you could prove to people that exploring, wandering, uh, discovering just through life, through experiences, and then turning that into something else like a business or uh, a way to live your life or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, I feel like that's where the success is coming in for you here. You have the Two of Wands, the Sun, and the Queen of Swords. This is you gaining clarity for sure. So you see something clearly. Again, the Queen of Swords, she is also potentially going through a transformation. Uh, there's the butterfly on her right here, whatever you call this, a chair, something thrown. You have a butterfly up here as well. You see the transformation that needs to happen. Even the Strength card can be an inner transformation that you are making. The magician, he has the snake eating its own tail, the Ouroboros uh, wrapped around his waist, and it represents reinvention. So a lot of you are changing who you are. You're like approaching situations differently. I feel like your future self is saying, focus on your happiness. Like don't choose things in life that make you not happy. Choose the things in life that bring happiness, joy, abundance, you know, all those other good things. That's what I'd be focusing on here. I would also like allow your inner child to come out more. I, I think the energy is too serious just in general. I think this is true for everyone. I think we all need to kind of like let our happiness out or choose more happy energy. This is also Leo. You have the sun and the strength card right next to each other. So some of you could be dealing with Leo, but what I would say is Leo is your opposite sign. So you know, there you go. I mean, <laughs> that's all I think it's saying sometimes. You have the two of wands, two of wands saying take the lead. It's also saying you have to leave a comfort zone just like the four of pentacles. You know, his village is normally right here on a traditional uh, tarot, like radiant rider weight or just traditional rider weight in general. And it kind of represents the fact that he needs to leave a comfort zone. He's standing at the top of a castle and it's kind of like an accomplishment, the castle, but uh, you know, he's still young. He still has a lot that he can accomplish, but he's thinking to himself, oh, um, I've accomplished everything that I can accomplish. There's nothing more for me. I feel like there's a lot more for you to accomplish. There's a lot more for you to experience, but you have to go have these experiences. With the two of wands, you have the, um, so you have the two of wands. <laughs> Basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. So it's time to take the lead. With the sun, you have the moon. Are you kidding me? Uh, there's like some sort of difference here. You know, for some of you, it's like, I, why do I feel like you're seeing the truth? And well, I know why, because you have the Ace of Swords right here. So I feel like some of you could be seeing the truth of a situation. It's something that was hidden for, from you for a while, or maybe you just didn't see the truth here. You know, it, it's probably something involving the Six of Pentacles. I would say this is probably something where you have put your energy into it, Aquarius. Like it could be a relationship. Maybe you've been putting your energy into a relationship, but now it's like now all of a sudden this week, I literally feel you could be having a wake up call where you're like seeing the truth for what it is. Or maybe you're seeing that it was not an equal relationship. Same thing in business or work. For some of you, I am getting very clearly as well that this is a situation that you're in that's like um, you know something that you're working on right now. I'm not saying that you're looking at what you're doing as a waste of time. I think you're just becoming more efficient. I feel like you know, you're know you seeing better ways to do the things that you're doing. It's like things are becoming more clear. Queen of Swords, we saw this. Um, with the Queen of Swords here, you have the Four of Pentacles. Yes, you know you have to leave something behind. I feel like you know that you have to make a change in your life and that you have to, you know, you know that certain things have to change as well. And so I feel like you're just like making these changes. Some of you, this could be like a head over heart decision uh, that you're making, or maybe you need to make a heart over head decision. You know, I think it could be different for all of you. The one thing I would say is I wouldn't rush the decision. 
if you're having a hard time making a decision, again, not to skip forward here, but what I would say is right here, here's your answer. It's like, if you have a choice between two things, maybe one's head, one, maybe the other one's heart, right? Which one fulfills you more? Or which one gives energy back, right? And that's the decision I would make with this energy. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you have this official person card. So some of you, you know, I kind of get the vibes that some of you are taking the lead in your life. It's like you're becoming an official person. I also feel like you could be getting advice from an official person. Could be any gender. There's a man on this card, but it could be any gender. I feel like it's someone you look up to. It could be like a mentor as well. It could be a boss. You know, it could also be a parent. Like I'm getting the, you know, I'm kind of getting authority vibes here. He does look like an authority on this card, but it's someone whose authority you respect. It's not like, you know, there are certain authorities that I'm sure you don't re respect, <laughs> but this is someone that I think you look up to. It's someone that you respect and everything like that. So I feel like there could be advice or help coming from a person who you're close to. Uh, and again, why is it unexpected? Maybe it's just not unexpected. Again, I, I label these rows, but I always say, it's like, to me, it, like I don't try to force these things to say, oh, there's something unexpected if there isn't. And I don't really feel this is like all that unexpected. I, I, what I would say is like, maybe if you're reaching out to a person who's an authority figure, maybe they actually get back to you. Like maybe you're just not expecting someone to respond to you or whatever, but you know, I would go for it is what I'd say here. You have these six of pentacles, the strength card, and the hangman. So again, I feel like you're kind of seeing the truth of a matter with the six of pentacles for whatever reason. I, I keep getting the word truth here. And I think the truth is, is, <laughs> is that you're seeing, it's like you're finally seeing clearly what you can give to in your life and what situations you can't give to. It's like you're creating balance through giving to the right things. And maybe you haven't been giving to the right things or Maybe you feel like you've been wasting your time or wasting your energy and you're finally, you know, I feel like you're finally creating balance is really what I'm getting here. Uh, next, you have the strength card. So I feel like you've been very patient and I feel like you've been waiting. I also feel like this is you, you know, this is a card of personal development. She is taming this lion. This lion is submitting to her and that lion, it kind of represents her inner beast, her inner voice, like her inner critic, all that stuff. And I feel like you are kind of getting these more challenging parts of yourself to submit to you. It's like you're and you know, again, we all have these things inside of us that we don't like, right? We all have these things that we have to work on and we have to kind of grow through and things like that. And, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you're more willing to do the work. <laughs> and I think that's what's leading to this magician energy. Sometimes I think when we work on ourselves, we come into alignment. So then naturally we're just able to attract things more quickly, like with the magician. You also have the hangman here. Hangman says, maybe you feel like you've been on pause. I do get that feeling for you where, you know, you kind of feel that you've been put on pause or I almost feel like this wasn't a choice or you think it wasn't a choice, right? Maybe the universe put you on pause and it's like you're being set free uh, it, with this energy. I feel like you're finally moving forward. And again, if you have a person that you want to get advice from, I would go for it because I feel like it's good advice, whatever it is. And it's someone you know. Um, with the four, Six of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups. I like this Four of Cups. This is the White Sage Tarot, by the way. And this Four of Cups, it's like the three cups are pouring into one cup, which is kind of how I see the Four of Cups. It's like he needs to, on a traditional Four of Cups, I always say he needs to mix all those cups together. He needs to, you know, get those things working together. He's, he's you know, it's called a contemplation and apathy because he thinks he's not manifesting things, but he actually is. So I kind of feel that for you here where it's like you're mixing things together and that would make sense with the magician coming up right next to it. With the strength card, you have the five wands, inner conflict um, here. I, I feel like some of you are healing from an inner conflict or you're healing from being conflicted about a decision that needs to be made. Um, way too much overthinking as usual in this reading. You have the seven of cups, uh, knight of swords here, the five wands, the strength card together um, with that four of pentacles, not wanting things to change, <laughs> but they're changing, right? So it's like, I think if we embrace the change, we're gonna be very successful. If we don't, then we're not. With the hangman, you have the chariot, definitely a victory coming in for you. Um, I would definitely be careful of your car this week. Uh, I do not like the chariot and the knight of swords for some reason. Why, I don't know, but what I would say is, you know, someone's telling you that something costs a lot of money. The Knight of Swords it has always been my card of getting a second opinion. So it's like if you have, if you're getting your car fixed or if you're getting your car worked on and they, if the price doesn't feel right or if it seems expensive or if they tell you something you don't understand, I would bring it somewhere else. I'd be like, okay, I'm getting a second opinion, right? <laughs> it would just be that simple because, um, you know, again, I, while I think this chariot is actually good for you, again, I feel with that Knight of Swords, it's kind of encouraging you to get a second opinion, especially if something doesn't sound right. It might be something on your house as well or, you know, 
uh, with something else in your life. So, you know, don't be afraid to get a second opinion is what I'm saying here. <laughs> uh, some of you could be moving, by the way, although I don't really feel moving energy, but, you know, it's always possible. Uh, next in the area of what are we doing? Oh, messages from your guides. You have this maiden card. It says new relationship blossoms. Um, if you want love, this could be love, although I don't really see this as a love reading. Um, you know, I would say I see this more as a partnership reading. So you could be attracting a business partner, a friendship, uh, any type of relationship you could possibly imagine. So it could be love, but uh, I feel like this person fills in some gaps. Again, you have the sun and the moon. And what I'm getting here is that you could be attracting a person who's the total opposite. I think that's why the sun and the strength card also showed up because you're opposite signs of Leo. And I think it's just a clue for me as a reader. I don't think it's actually the message, right? Um, you know that, but I feel that there could be an opposite type of situation coming in for you. And it could be in love, but you know, I feel like you're like day and night, you know, totally different. But at the same time, sometimes opposites work really, really well together. And again, for some of you, I do feel this is in business where it's like you're very different, but it, it like works out for whatever reason. Uh, you have the magician, the knight of swords and the temperance card, like mixing two things together. The temperance card is he's normally mixing two things together to turn water into wine. So I feel for a lot of you, that you could be finding the right mix. And, you know, that's kind of popping into my head with the temperance card. You're finding like the things that need to be put together to create more success for you. So I really like that. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, again, no rushing this week. I feel like there might be a lot of excitement, a lot of good stuff, especially if you're getting like good news this week about something. And, but again, I would just like take your time with the Knight of Swords, pretty simple. And uh, you have the Magician as well. I was getting at the beginning of the reading, this is some sort of new beginning. He has mastery over all the suits. And again, if you're starting something new, like a new business, a new career, new job, a uh, new relationship, I would be giving it everything you got. <laughs> I feel quite simply, this reading is saying whatever you're about to enter into, you need to give it like a thousand percent, not even a hundred percent. I think you need to give it everything you got and then some because, um, you know, I feel like that magician is saying use all your tools because it's ultimately going to be extremely successful. I always pull the card that he's pointing to. We're just going to say it's this one. It says, believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dream. That's literally <laughs> basically what we've been saying this whole entire time. So there you go. With the magician, you have the king of swords, you. Be, uh, you coming up in a very strong position here. I feel like you're in a position of power and strength. And you also have the king and queen of swords here. So for some of you, if you have been dealing with a person where you're not seeing eye to eye, again, you have the four of pentacles, which is kind of like saying, maybe this situation needs to be let go of. With the knight of swords, you have the two of cups because new love is coming in, but don't rush into this new love with that knight of swords. Again, I would be taking your time, especially right now, especially based off your astrology. If I was an Aquarius, and I basically am, I'm an Aquarius rising, right? I would not be rushing into anything. Like I would be taking my time until... Uh, I don't know, like the end of March, somewhere around there. And again, that doesn't mean you can't be in a relationship. It just says, like, take your time. Don't rush things. Don't try to force things to happen too quickly. Um, that's all it says. With the temperance card, you have the six of cups. Definitely a soulmate that could be coming in for you here. Six of cups also, to me, represents like a turnaround, like obstacles being removed from your path. So I do feel there could be some sort of turnaround here, Aquarius. But uh, we're going to pull five main themes and we're going to see what is going on for you now. Uh, you have this optimism card. I think it's much better week, like feeling much better, especially if you've been feeling down in the dumps and, <laughs> you know, all of that stuff. I feel like you're feeling more positive, more abundant, more successful, more happy. It's just like things are better. Sun, uh, you know, optimism as well. Uh, you have this revenge card. No revenge. Again, all you air signs, like, you know, I tell the air signs, you know, because of uh, Mars retrograde in Gemini, it doesn't matter that Mars is direct. I would say I would wait until the end of March. I would not be getting into any fights in the home. I would not be trying to get revenge on anyone. I wouldn't even be thinking about karma or like a person needing to get karma or anything like that. Because when you do that, you prevent the person from getting karma because, you know, you're not trusting that the universe will take care of it. So, you know, I would let those kind of like things go. Uh, you have this authority card. We had the official person. I was talking about authority. And so either you you have a person of authority. Some of you could be becoming an authority as well. King of Swords. So really like that. Uh, next, you have this fortune card, the sun in Leo. Uh, also kind of like the sun card. So clearly there's a lot of happiness, but also great fortune coming in for you. It seems to be a very good week this week, just in general, the energy. And uh, finally, you have the riches card. Love it. Something you're working on. This is something new something where you have to reinvent yourself. So again, if you're starting anything new in work or business or career, even if you're retired, you could be working on a new project or whatever, and you could be reinventing yourself. 
Uh, I'm a big fan of that for you based off this reading, Reinvention, because it looks like uh, that's where all the success is going to come from. Pretty simple reading. So thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch the your uh, sun, moon, and rising uh, for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.